Peace and love, everybody. Today's video is sponsored by Yes Yeezy. They have brought me another pair of Yeezy 2s, the pure platinums this time. And we're going to unbox them. We're going to review them. We're going to on-feed them like we normally do. So let's, let's just get into it. You already know what it is. So we got the Nike Sportswear box. It took a hit. But again, we don't, we don't wear the box. So we wear the shoes, right? Official name is the Wolf Grey Pure Platinum. They came out on the 13th of March in 2012. I've always wanted the shoe, took a big fat L back then, and I could not get the shoe. So here I am in 2020, getting the shoe in a, in a different kind of way. Yes, Yeezy has sent me the, the black sail pair previously. Gotta have the Celica. And I love the shoe, so they were nice enough to get me another pair. For review for you guys and hopefully the red octobers would be following that so on the box you can see the y and the z are touching that's kind of a giveaway that they're not retail but again we don't we don't wear the box we wear the shoes the scan didn't pick up anything and it really doesn't matter here's the dust bag which is crazy it has horus on it again looks okay but i probably won't use it the bag also has those lace tips on it as well and these ones are gold. The one on the shoes are not gold. They're like gray. So you could easily swap those out for the gold ones if you don't like them. I took another look at the bag. And on the back side, the sportswear stitching is not that great. But I don't know if that really matters. Again, we don't wear the bag either. We wear the shoes. But just looking at the, the lettering on there, I'm, I'm not sure about that. But anyways, let's just jump into the shoe. You got the pure platinums here. They have that beautiful greenish glow in the dark bottom, which is kind of iconic. Let's get some better light on these bad boys. And this shoe to me is just one of the more perfect silhouettes coming from Nike. Um, I can see around the leather there. There's, there's some there's some poking out from the leather there from when they sewed it down. Um, I've always wanted the shoe, and I know I probably won't pay the. Ten or fifteen thousand dollars for the shoe, and it's really old at this point. So the materials for the sneaker, at this point, are probably extinct. I'm not sure where they're getting this beautiful scaling pattern material from. I don't know if they're just mixing materials that look like the originals. But to me, it doesn't matter. I think they're dope. It looks good. I would definitely wear these in public. I actually already have wore these in public, and I don't care about callouts. You can call me out. And we'll have the conversation. And like I told you guys before, I've actually converted a few people that called me out. They didn't call me out like aggressively like you're wearing fakes like a freaking 12-year-old. We just had a conversation, got my information, and then they ordered some shoes. So let's go ahead and look at the toe box here. This is a very nice sweet suede that they keep using. Um, it, it, there's no glue really. I see a little bit there, but the craftsmanship from Yes Easy is pretty spot on with this pair. The black ones were good, this one's good, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the product. I'm thinking this is the more least popular pair out of the three, the Sales and the Red Octobers. Um, this is my least favorite out of the three as well, but they're great. They're really great, and the shoe is really comfortable. I did have some issues with the right shoe, but that's okay. Just kind of little adjustments there made it right. Here are the birds from the Egyptian text, which I explained in the black and sale video so please go and check the black and sale video out if you haven't it did really well i gave a, a lot more history about the shoe and how it was made and yeezy's um inspirations putting horus on here again an egyptian god or deity i thought it was a nice touch it made the shoe really stand out and it's again it's just overall the shoe is lit it's, it's, it's a beautiful sneaker and i'm i'm glad yes yeezy just got me another pair to be straight honest those lace locks are really good too by the way those are the horns or the kind of the head of Horus. Um, the inside of the tag says 2-11-12. And believe me, trying to film that little tag is so hard. Glow in the dark bottoms. I took this picture with my iPhone 11. And right when I was observing them, I said, hey, let me get them lit up. As soon as you walk back in your house from wearing these shoes, like taking out the trash, they're going to light up. I don't know what any of that means. But it's there. Here's the insole. It's a, it's a men's size 10. Now these fit true to size. 
Um, people are asking me if I'm a nine and a half or a 10. I'm both. And in this shoe, it's definitely a 10. A nine and a half, I probably wouldn't be able to fit. Bottom's got a little stickiness, some glue or something are on there. It'll, I don't know what it is, but it, it sticks to the insole. It's kind of hard to pull out. This is the other pair, and I've wore this pair in a vlog. Well, there's both of them. I wore this pair in a vlog. It's called How to Vlog in Downtown Colorado. So go ahead and check that video out as well if you want to see the sneakers in action. I'm going to start wearing the sneakers in more vlogs. So stay tuned for that. It's a close look under the tag. They got that right. That looks pretty good. Moving along to the on feet or on foot. I don't really know the proper way to say it. We just went out in the woods, took some shots with the Sigma, and this is what we got. The shoe looks beautiful with no matter what you're wearing. I'm not really into styling sneakers with outfits very much. I, I leave that for the younger kids. I just like to wear the shoes. And with these kind of shoes, you can wear sweatpants and a t-shirt and get away with that outfit because the shoes are so dope. They feel good. They're a really snug shoe, but over time they will break in. If you saw that little lace lock, it's like a silverish, dark grayish. And I like that touch. One of them actually fell off, so I'm going to have to put one of the gold ones from the bag. When PJ Tucker was playing in the Red Octobers, he actually took those little tips off the shoe because when you walk, those little tips on the shoe, they make noise. Like they're flapping and they're hitting the upper. Um, like that, the strap that's across the toe, you keep hearing the little lace locks hitting that. So just one thing to point out, I'm just wearing black waxy tight pants with these. Nothing special. Again, the shoes will make the whole outfit. If you guys want me to get the Red Octobers from them, drop it in the comments. Yes, easy. If you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, go ahead and send those over to your boys so we can get another review in, complete the collection. Um, I think the red ones are a little, you know, they're a little ambiguous, but I'll, you know, I'll still rock them because people are really on you when you wear the Red Octobers. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the video. Just want to give you a little review of these. Check out Yes Yeezy. They're great. Customer service is wonderful. They got these to me in about 17 days, considering what's going on. But, you know, we got to take what we can get. Peace and love, guys. I will catch you on the next video. Please follow me on Instagram because that is where I do a lot of the personal questions. I don't like to answer a lot of personal questions as far as like pricing and that kind of thing in the comments below. I like to do that on my IG so we can have like a real conversation and it's more private. So just hit me up on IG. Peace out. I love you guys. I could not do these videos without you. Stay tuned to the next one. I got some more heat coming and uh, peace and love. Take care.